Well, it is illegal to litter, we know that, but that doesn't stop people from tossing trash on the side of the road. When it rains, that trash ends up in our waterways and then threatens the fish, the birds, and other wildlife. Our Paula Tubman joined a crew of volunteers who say that they need to help to counteract the bad intentions of people who pollute. So we're on the Clinton River in Utica, and it is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous day to actually go for a canoe ride. But here's the thing. It's gorgeous because there are people who've taken great pride in stewardship in keeping this watershed clean. It only takes a moment to toss a fast food bag, a cigarette, or a coffee cup from the window of a moving vehicle. When it finds its way to the Clinton River, it can take much longer just to retrieve one piece of garbage that could have easily just found its way to a trash bin. Just the plastic bags. And this is an animal's one of their greatest enemies. Birds and the, and the fish and the animals get caught in these and then they suffocate or drown. On the Clinton River, every warm weather week, a team of volunteers don life jackets, grab paddles, and launch an assault on those who carelessly assault the environment. Got a flip flop. Old school helmet. The Clinton River Watershed Council leads the charge. Each time we get about a thousand pounds of trash removed from the Clinton River. As a result of volunteers stopping, getting out of their boats, pulling out tires, we get shopping carts, all kinds of things. Lots of just plain litter and debris that washes down river like plastic bottles, plastic bags, cigarette butts. Um, but as a collective effort, we've been able to remove, it'll be almost 4,000 pounds of trash after today. What's that you found? The teamwork. This here is a uh, BPA free bottle, so it's safe for the environment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. Right. Unless it's in the environment. 1,000 pounds of trash in less than three hours of paddling. Friday, the Army of Cleanup volunteers included workers from FCA, Chrysler folk, who use their discretionary volunteer time to do this really hard work. People think it just disappears. They think landfills, everything just makes its way there. It does, but through great people like this volunteering and picking up. But just to see it trash on the side of where we live, it horrifies me. The efforts have paid off. The Clinton River. Got a favorite spot? Yeah, it is. And its favorite water holes are cleaner than ever before. Noticeable difference between last year's um, canoe trip and this year's. And I know, and even in the spring, there was more trash along the, r the river here, but last year was a lot different. So I think all these efforts to uh, bring the community together and clean up has really helped a lot. It is painstaking, time consuming, and depending on water conditions, sometimes dangerous work when a trash can on dry land could have easily done the trick. Paula Tupman, Local 4. As Paula mentioned, volunteers are needed for a big trash roundup this weekend to put an even bigger dent in the cleanup efforts. We'll put a link to the Clinton River Watershed Council on our social media platforms. Paula, by the way, will be back at 6 with a story about a natural invader taking over Oakland County waterways. So make sure to stay tuned for that.